Studios are weird because they they take on like a life of their own for me. Um, every studio that you walk into just has a particular vibe. So I just try and cater to that and make sure that my studio gives off you know a great feeling when people come in here. Music is a spiritual thing, and I want to help facilitate that in whatever ways that I can. I wanted to have a space. It was conducive for making a live recording, but also was set up in a way that multiple phases of a production could be accomplished at the same time, or multiple productions could be worked on at the same time. You know, I wanted the studio to be flexible enough that it felt like you were in three different studios, but cohesive enough that it didn't really feel like you had left the one main space that you were intending to work on. A lot of times this place is all three studios are working and so you have different artists that are encountering each other and having great conversation that wouldn't normally be in the same room together. So that's something we definitely envisioned from the beginning. A recording studio is a space where you can definitely feel like you are supposed to go in and never ever touch anything. And I don't want to give that off to people, you know. I want to give off the, the space where come in, use the kitchen, you know, go in there, change the lights to whatever color you want, enjoy yourself, try and make this your home. You're here to get out what I would consider, you know, hopefully a little bit of piece of your soul. When you enter Studio B, which is the first studio that you see when you enter into this, the building, there's, there's couches and places to sit. It is made to feel like a, a tremendous living room. And then from there, anybody can go set up whatever vibe that they really, really want. The live room, Studio B, is by far my favorite space. It's a playground. Any instrument that you could want to get your hands on is there and ready to go. The physical space definitely speaks to the work that we do here. Um, you know, the beautiful gear that we're surrounded by, but also, um, yeah, lighting and candles, incense, whatever you need, you know. I really appreciate being able to paint a vibe for people that they feel comfortable with. You put on all red lights and send a metal band in there and they're happy. They are, they love it, you know, they dig that vibe. Where me, personally, I, I usually hang out in blue and purple rooms, you know, so I appreciate that. A good vibe is shown in the music. The expertise that those guys bring to the table is, I mean, it's incredible. At the same time, they're very accommodating to what people's goals are, but these guys know what they're doing. You know, some people come in and have a very clear idea, and some people are just like, I need help, you know? And uh, I feel like at times like that, where it's like that, you know, I'm in your hands, is really when really special things start to happen here. I was fortunate to record at their old spot on 8th and Hickory, and then uh, also the new spot, um, which is futuristic, it's great, and uh, yeah, Third Eye Merchants is happy to be there. Recording with Rick, he, he knows what he's doing behind the boards, and uh, he has a certain chemistry that he brings out in people, and it's uh, very easy to get along with, and it's kind of conjure a dynamic with them. They have the best equipment. I mean, vintage equipment. It's not all like stuff that you'll find from Guitar Center. You know, it's stuff that they've scoured to find these uh, pieces that offer particular sounds or feelings in them. They can customize your whole experience. Whatever sound you make, they can bring it, help you bring it to life. And then on the mixing side of things, you know, Rick is uh, very good and capable at what he does so having the equipment and then the knowledge and bringing those two together the way Rick does is really special. We're able to put people's vision into something tangible which at the end of the day is a great record. I would encourage anybody to go in there and just sit down and talk with those guys because they will work with you you know if you're a band and they, they, they want to make great music. They want to put Omaha on the map for sure.